Hey, what's up guys? Ramon here, Monster Gadgets. I hope you're all having a wonderful day wherever you might be. Thank you so much for joining me. And as you guys can see, I've got my little helper here today. This is Zayna. You guys have seen her before in my other videos. We are actually here at a local park because she wanted to come out and have some fun before it starts to rain. As you guys can see, it's getting pretty cloudy. But we're here because we're also gonna test out the parking features on the Tesla Model 3 Performance, which in the past I've done. So a couple of weeks ago, I did a video on the update with summons, which spoiler was a complete disaster so go check out my video if you haven't already but with the update coming out i figured i will go ahead and redo the parking video as well and see if there's any differences any changes how well it works so we're gonna go have a little bit of fun and then we're gonna go ahead and record this video what do you say yeah. all right let's get to it let's go one two hold on tight Hey, you made it all the way back almost. Look at that. done playing at this park here and so now Zena is in the back we're gonna go ahead and try out the parking feature so here we go let's go ahead and back out of this parking spot and similar to last time uh, we're gonna try to find a, a spot that is between a couple of cars and uh, activate the auto park feature and see how well this thing actually parks so there's a BMW right there and a GMC so I'm gonna go below 15 miles per hour. That's when it becomes active. And uh, let's see if it actually picks up this spot here. It might not pick up the first one, but it should pick up this one, I believe. Here, let's see if it picks up any of these. Oh, that one it did. So you saw the parking, that's where it comes up. You select it and you wanna park there. Shift to reverse, put in reverse, and start auto park. And I got my foot on the brake just in case I need to take control. But here's the thing, if you have not checked out my previous video about parking this way in rear, uh, you should definitely go check that out. That is getting way too close for it to park. So here's where it's at in my rear view mirror. You guys can take a look. That is getting extremely close, so I did cancel that. I'm gonna go ahead and pull out of here. That was not uh, safe. That was not safe. That did not work out well at all. So uh, maybe we should try more where all of the That cars was are. a failure, unfortunately. A big failure. So Tesla, if you're watching this, please do something better. You gotta make this better, right? Yeah. All right. I'm gonna wait for these cars to pass by. So that was on the passenger side. We'll go ahead and see how well this actually works if it picks up on the driver's side. Meaning. I am actually going to go this way, which is technically the wrong way to go, and see if it picks up this parking spot or not. I'm serious. It does. I'm oh. going to go ahead and hit park. Wow. I Shift to reverse. Don't tell me it's going to go close again. I don't know what it's going to do here. This is actually quite, uh, quite off. Because like here's a parking spot. I haven't actually even passed it yet. There is another spot open back there. I wonder if that's what it's picking up, but I'm gonna go ahead and start it and see what it does. Cause if it starts to go towards that car, I'm gonna be pretty uh, upset. Pretty upset. Uh, so, so actually, uh, yeah, it looks like it's going okay. Oh no, don't crash. So far so good. Oh, oh, it's oh. doing okay. Enough space on that side, kind of. Uh, it stopped by itself. I did not stop that. So again, for some reason, it's not parking properly on this one either. So auto park canceled. So two failures. Um, maybe it's a cars. I don't know. Let's go. Zena, should we go try out different cars? Yeah. See if we can find a different spot maybe. Actually, um, if I drop one little single crumb inside this car, my dad will yell at me. <laughs> so, no, not yell at you. I don't yell at you. <laughs> Do I? You just get mad. I get upset. That's why they're not allowed to eat in here, as a side note. All right, let's see if uh, any of these spots are available for parking. This one obviously is, but not sure if the car is going to pick this one up. Let's see if it does. Is it going to pick up 
pick up? It's not. I think it only picks up parking spots between cars, unfortunately. These are all taken. These are all taken. So there's no spot here. Yeah. Let's see if we can find a spot here, guys, where we can try this out. Probably people are like, why are you stopping? Why is this guy randomly stopping at parking spots? Okay, nothing here. Let's go back. Let's go so we'll make a, a U-turn here. There's a nice baseball game happening there. I see a spot here, guys. So we're gonna go this way towards the end here. I don't know, can you see it, Zena? Next to those two cars. Oh, yeah, I see it. And a minivan. Oh, there's a kid. Wow. There's a kid, so we'll be careful. Be careful. Oh, it's actually not a kid, it's actually a dinosaur. <laughs> it's a dinosaur? He has a little dinosaur back there. Yeah. We'll let them pass. And, uh,. Why, why? See if it picks up the spot here. Just it is kind of at a turn. Let's see if it picks it up. Oh, it's not it did not pick up that spot. Okay. Even though it's between cars. What is wrong with you, Tesla? All right, so it looks like this update is Pretty definitely true. messing with the ability for it to auto park because last time I tested this out, it worked extremely well with it parking. And so right now, I am uh, quite a bit disappointed that uh, this is not working. So. I'll go ahead and stop the video here on uh, parking in a normal spot and then uh, I'll try and see if we can find uh, some parallel spots that we can go ahead and try this out and see if it works. But this was again a failure compared to the previous video I did with the previous version. So I'll go ahead and uh, list which version I'm currently running on in the description below so go check that out. And uh, again go check out my previous video where this was very successful with the previous software update. So let's go find some parallel spots. All right, so we are back in the same area where I tested my previous video with it trying to parallel park. So we're gonna try and see if we can find a, a spot here somewhere where there's an open spot so we can park. So here's one coming up right here. There's a car behind me, but we'll see if this actually picks it up or not. It might or might not. Uh, oh, that car is coming up really close. Oh, it did. It did but that car behind me was very close and I did not want to trouble it. Uh, I just want to say something. Oh. oh, I just want to say something. What's up? Uh, uh, I want to say something. Uh, we're actually by Mod. Uh, it's a fast food place. And it's very delicious pizza. So you should sometime like uh, stop by there and get some pizza. Nice. Thanks for the tips, Nina. All right, so let's make a U-turn somewhere here because there's some spots on the left, which is not, well, actually, this might be a good spot right here. Can you guys see that between the cars? I think that's a spot. That might be a good spot to test it out. So we'll circle back and see if we can park over here. There's no traffic here, so we'll have a little bit more time. I'm gonna make a U-turn here. I do U-turns in school because we have to drop the way off. All right. So in between those two cars, let's see if uh, this thing alerts it or not, or picks it up. I'm going about eight miles per hour. It should tell us now, hopefully. No, it did not even pick up. Let's try again. I thought this update would We'll try with the turn signal on, see if it recognizes anything with the turn signal on. Not sure if it will or won't, but uh, let's see. Turn the signal on. I see the parking spot. Does it pick it up? What therapy do you go? Are you going to that there therapy? it is. This Wait, time it picked it up. Cool. Let's hit it. Parking, shift to reverse. Start. Yes. All right, here we go. Let's see how well it does. Don't, don't hit, please. I don't want to. <laughs> Oh, so far so good oh, oh, oh. it's got plenty of space between the curb so it doesn't uh, ruin the rims Oof. good Oofy, Oofy. and auto park in progress let's see is it done no nope, so. moving forward good don't hit the car, please. I got my hand uh, my foot on the brake don't worry auto park complete so it has done its job Oh, that was and uh, let's go take a look outside how much distance there is between the curb. Other side, Zina. Oh, yeah. 
So did a good job. Uh, good amount of distance between the curb and the rim, except one thing I will tell you guys again, and I've said this in my previous video, it looks like it goes off the distance of the actual car. Here, let's shut this door see. Because uh, take a look at that. That, so I decided to come closer to the front car, but here's the thing. Here's the actual line for the parking spot and the one in the front we've actually passed. So it does not again recognize the actual lines on the ground. It recognizes the space between each car and it parks accordingly. So again, did a great job, but again, for the fact that it didn't do it between the lines, that may be something that they might improve on future updates. But as of right now, this one actually worked in parallel parking as it did in the past. So we'll do maybe a couple of tests or maybe one more test with the parallel parking. So let's go ahead and hop back in the car, go find a few more spots and test it out. All right, here is test number two for parallel parking. And uh, we'll try and see if we can find a spot here on this side now where we can try this for the second time. First time was a success. Actually, we see a spot right here. Let's turn the turn signal on. Pull up to the car here. Hopefully it will. It did not. Did not pick up. All right. So for some reason it has trouble finding the spot. Let's try that again, shall we? Yeah. There's so much cameras in the car. How can you not pick that up? No idea. So even though the turn signal was on this time, that did not work. We'll try it again. It might be just because there's too much distance between the two cars. That's what I'm guessing it is. Maybe they can. Let's try again. And it's not like you can go inside that little space. Can you? Can no, it does not pick that up. So I think there's too much space between the two cars and it's just not picking it up. So let's go see if we can find a tighter spot between the two cars and maybe it will recognize it. Do we have any other spots here? Let's take a look. These are all open. This doesn't count. Um, here's one right here. Let's see between the two cars. This one seems to be a little bit smaller space. Let's see if it picks it up or not. It did. All right, parking. Shift in reverse and start. Here we go. Is it gonna do it, Zena? I think so. I hope so. I got my foot on the brake just in case. Yeah, because I don't want to be like paying a like a thousand dollar fee. And, oh. oh, that was a big cut. I hope it doesn't hit the rim. It did not. Okay, good. We're in the clear. That was pretty close though. Closer than last time, I would say. Oh, look, fidgets. Reverse done. Moving forward. And it should stop hopefully here. Again, I think it's going to cross the line. Auto park complete. Let's go take a look again outside. We'll go from the back. Did a good job. What do you think, Zena? I think it's pretty good because there's a lot of space there. Yeah, and I don't think it actually had uh, room to cross the line because it did recognize the space between the front car and the back car. So it did keep it within that line because it couldn't possibly go over um and the back is a lot of room so did a good job kept enough room between the curb and the car parked it within the space so i would say with this software the auto park feature is still a well let me let me rephrase the parallel parking is still a success the other parking you guys saw was a complete fail unfortunately so definitely some work to be done there but hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and this test uh, Zena, you want to do an outro for us? Uh, hopefully, uh, share with your guys' friends this video. Come on, you got to be louder than that. Nah. Come on. What I is it? Let's that. go. Uh, share with all your other friends. Uh, like and subscribe. And we'll all see you guys all next time. Bye. That was a failure because my phone actually got knocked down. I'm actually recording on the iPhone 13 <laughs> Pro Max. So, Zena, for the final time, go for it. All right, so since she can't whistle, I did the whistling part for yes. her. Excellent job on the outro. Thank you for helping with today's video. High five. All right, we'll see you guys later.